One day in October of 1954, 12-year-old Cassius rode his bicycle into downtown Louisville while Rudy sat on the handlebars. It began to rain, and the boys took cover in the Columbia Auditorium, where a home appliance show was underway. After the rain stopped, they emerged to find that the bicycle was gone. He had a brand new Schwinn, a beautiful red bicycle that uh, he shared with his brother. And he went running around looking for his bicycle and then ran back into the community center asking for help. Someone told him there was a police officer in the basement. He went down and the cop in the basement was this Joe Martin who was running a little boxing school. Cassius told the story years later that for a minute he forgot about his bike because the sight of this boxing gym, the smell of the leather and the sweat, and the excitement, the action of boys in, in a ring hitting each other black and white together. And he, you know, reported the crime, and I'm going to get the guy, and I'm going to, you know, kill him. Joe Martin said, well, um, do you know how to fight? Fight. And that was the beginning. Though his father was reluctant to let his son train with a white police officer, the lessons were free, and Cassius was eager to learn. At first, the young boxer did not impress Martin. He was just ordinary, the trainer recalled, and I doubt whether any scout would have thought much of him. Cassius didn't show any special talent right away, but he showed enormous passion. He knew instantly that this was what he wanted to do. Boxing was perfect for him because there's just two guys in the ring, and your eye is always going to be drawn naturally to the one who's doing the most moving, who's doing the most punching, who's moving the fastest. And that was him, and he knew that he could get the most attention that way. Just six weeks after he walked into Joe Martin's gym, Cassius Clay had his first amateur fight. I, at that time, was putting on a local television show here in Louisville, and I had uh, amateur bouts every Saturday afternoon. The first bout I put him in, he weighed 87 pounds. After defeating 14-year-old Ronnie O'Keefe in a split decision, Clay immediately announced to everyone that one day he would be called the greatest of all time. He was always been a little bragging. I'm the greatest and all that before he even got to be the greatest. We'd say, oh, shut up, precision run in your mouth. But as he got better and better, we had more respect for him. Hi, this is Ken Burns. I hope you enjoyed that excerpt from the film Sarah Burns, David McMahon, and I made on the life of the extraordinary heavyweight boxing champion, Muhammad Ali. Here's some more clips you might like, and you can watch the entire Muhammad Ali series on the PBS video app or at pbs.org.